hey guys welcome back to my channel i am terry hope you're all doing fine so today i'll be doing this glossy makeup look for you guys if you want to see how i achieve this look keep on watching hey again fabulous what's up so we're starting off with the eyes today i'm going with the Juvia's face concealer and this is in the shade number 12 and i'm using this as a base for my eyeshadow I'm just taking a little bit of concealer and patting that onto my eyelid using my fluffy brush and then I'll go over with my small sponge to further blend that in and remove any excess concealer from my eyelid. I'm going to the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. I'm taking that orangish reddish color and I am applying that all over my lid. It's as easy as that. I'm using that one shade and I build it up and blend it out onto my lid. Now I'm going with a smoking gel liner and I'm just applying that to the base of my lash line right there and I'm creating a little wing. So I'm going ahead and I'm creating a wing and then I went in with my mascara so that I can prep my lashes for applying my fox lash. Right here you guys are seeing me removing the... Right here I'm removing the eyeshadow that I applied to my bottom lash line because I wasn't really liking the way that it was looking and that actually completed my eye look. So I went in and moisturized my face and then I go in with my black up primer. This is a mattifying primer and I place that right into the T-zone area of my face where I tend to oil up real quick. Now I'm going in with my two shades of Juvia's in 230 and 350 and I am mixing those. I am applying the lighter shades towards the parts of my face that I would normally highlight and the darker shade towards the outer part of my face. And then I will go in with my sponge and I blend those colors together so I can get a perfect mixture for my foundation color. Next I'm going to the Juvia's concealer again and this is in number 7 and I'm taking that to bronze up my face or do a light contour. Then I go in with my sponge and I blend out all the places that I applied that concealer. So that's right on my jawline as well as the side of my nose. I blend those out so that it can be diffused into my skin. Next, I'm going back in with the Juvia's Face Concealer in number 12 again and I am using that to highlight under my eyes as well as the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my forehead and my chin area and then I'll just go ahead and blend that out. So I went to my fluffy brush and I started blending out all the concealer that I applied to my face. And I like going in with the brush first to kind of like blend out especially on the edges so that the makeup is not so harsh and it's easier to like blend out and it doesn't really move around the concealer too much on my face. Right here I realized that my gel liner was transferring to the top of my lid because I did not apply eyeshadow to make it matte. So I went in with the same palette and I used the black from the palette and I applied that on top of my liner and that created that matte finish so that it does not move from where it is to transfer up to the top. And then I will show you guys how I went ahead and fixed that. I went in with the, my concealer and I apply a little bit on top of that and I pat that in and I let it dry down just a little bit and then I went back over with my color and as you guys can see that the black is hidden 
are camouflaged. It's not as bright as it was before. So by the time I finished that, the concealer started like drying down on my face. So I missed my face with my facial mist. And then I went in and I blended out the concealer. I really like the way that the concealer dried down a little bit because that for me is added more coverage because the concealer is not moving around as much and I did not have to like blend the inner part too much I just had to like focus on the outer parts I did go back in with a sponge that I used to blend out my foundation and I went over the edges of the concealer so that everything can be more blended and seamless Now I'll be setting all my concealer with the Sasha Bonacup setting powder and I went in with my egg shaped brush and I just applied that setting powder to all the parts of my face that has concealer. Now I'm going in with the Black Radiance True Complexion palette and I took the sculpting color and I applied that to all the parts of my face that I added the cream contour. I also went to my face powder and the Maybelline Fit Me 355 Set and Smooth powder and I just set the rest of my face and I also used that same brush to blend out any excess powder from the setting powder and dust away any excess powder that was on my face. Now it's time to add the gloss to my lids. I used my regular lip gloss, a clear one, and I applied some to the back of my hand and then I went in with a flat brush and I started patting that on top of my eyeshadow. And this is what created that glossy look guys. Like, it's super easy and simple. I really loved this glossy look. Then I just went in with my facial mist again and I missed my face and once my face dried down I went back into my contour palette and I got the highlight color and I highlighted the high points of my face especially nose I added a little extra there to give it some poppage. And now I went back in with my gloss because I wanted to keep this look like a glossy look. I went in back with my clear gloss and I added that to my lips and then I go back over with my brown liner. So I just took my brown liner to the outer part of my lips just to add a little bit of shade because I wanted to keep it glossy and natural looking. And this is a finished look you guys. I really really love the way that this glossy look came out. It was my first time trying this and I will definitely be trying this look again. And if you guys liked all this look, please give my video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Peace.